The monsoon clouds have started looming over the sky and the scorching summer heat has slowly started subsiding. Yes, the rainy season is on its way. This is the best time for beautiful greenery in your garden, backyard, balcony or even terrace garden. The plants are benefited not only with the rains but also the fresh and cool breeze with healthy air circulation around your plants and also the optimum humidity in the air which acts as a boon for your plants. When it comes to home gardening, especially container gardening, we'll quickly run through the top 10 tips to follow during monsoon and rains. The first tip is double check the drainage system of your containers. Apart from seeing the water flowing out of the drainage holes, make sure you insert a sharp pointed tool like a screwdriver into the drainage hole and make sure it's open. This is a very important care tip in rainy season because stagnant water can rot the roots of the plant very easily and this is the high time for fungus attacks. This also helps in breeding of mosquitoes and diseases like dengue. Hence, rainwater during the monsoon should be drained out completely as much as possible. It's also better to avoid using trays under your pots. Then the second tip is on watering. Do not water the plants during the monsoon season unless the soil has turned dry or the leaves have started wilting. Remember this line, overwatering is the most common plant killer and not underwatering. Then the third factor is soil. A well draining soil is indispensable for your plants, especially in rainy season. This is the reason why we always recommend you to prepare a well draining soil for each and every plant during repotting. You can check out my video on universal potting mix formulae from a card link that top right corner of this video, especially for beginners. Then earthworms. These are the gardener's best friends and I call them as the robots of garden. This is the time when they are found maximum. And if you find them concentrated at one container, you can pick them up and spread them around your garden to allow the best fertilization of soil at multiple places. You can also watch my video on the benefits of earthworms in gardening. Then protect your young plants that is saplings and seedlings from rain. These plants are very fragile and should be sheltered adequately to protect them from rains. Then the sixth point is, this point is little interesting. Frogs and toads should be allowed in the garden during the monsoon. These are the insect eaters and help the garden to be free from insects. That is one way of biological control. Then pruning and deadheading is important just before monsoon for most plants. This helps the fresh shoots to grow and increases branching and growth. For beginners, check out what's deadheading from my question answer video playlist. Then fertilizers. It's better to use natural fertilizers than chemical fertilizers for plants during monsoon. Also, the requirement increases not only because of the plant growth season but also due to rain, which washes out the applied fertilizers. Slow release fertilizers like the cow dung manure has been proven to be the best manure for plants in monsoon. You can also use homemade compost or vermi compost. Some gardeners also use foliar spray to feed plants. During the monsoon season, the pores in the plants open up and spraying the fertilizer helps the plant to absorb them immediately. For ground gardening, preparing raised beds is so beneficial. Water will never stagnate. For container gardening and ground gardening, make sure you do not have pits around your plants and try to fill these with mulch or even leveling up the soil or making it slopey or flat is very good. The main idea is to prevent water stagnation. Then pesticides. Spraying pesticides should be done during the monsoon immediately after the fresh shoots start appearing after the pruning process. Most pests and insects prefer to suck fresh leaves and external application of fertilizers will help in controlling these plants. This is the honeymoon period for many insects like slugs and snails which can significantly damage your garden. Best natural pesticide is the neem oil, 5 ml per litre of water plus 10 drops of liquid dishwash soap, mix well and spray once every 15 days as a prophylactic. These home gardening tips are very easy to follow but still many people due to the hectic work schedule and lack of time find it difficult to follow this simple schedule. Please give a thumbs up to the video if you like the video and also please add some more points by commenting below the video so that the whole gardening community is benefited. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!